Hello, everyone, and thank you so much for joining us for another virtual open house with the Shannon Jones team. Today, we are looking at 4418 Pepperwood Avenue in Lakewood Village. So we have Brad over at the house right now. He's standing right out in front. Hey, Brad. And then Shannon and I are here at the Keller Williams office. Hello and welcome. We're really excited. Um, to share this one with you, this is a rare, rare opportunity for someone very fortunate to purchase a beautiful home on a double lot in Lakewood Village. So um, if you're not familiar with Lakewood Village, which is also known as The Village um, to those who live in Long Beach, um, these are all large lots. So the lots start at about 7,000 square feet. And thank you, Brad, for kind of panning on the neighborhood. What you'll see there is that this is a neighborhood where it's all custom homes on larger lots. And um, there aren't any sidewalks in this area. It has a very different feel than the surrounding um, neighborhood. Um, this lot is actually 15,395 square feet, at least according to the tax records. I didn't measure it. Um, and the house itself is more than 3,000 square feet. So very large, spacious, traditional home on an extremely, extremely large lot. And it's got so many wonderful upgrades and updates and features and storage and it's amazing. Everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, and while Brad's walking outside, just a disclaimer, Lakewood Village is still Long Beach. We are not in Lakewood. So it's surrounded on three sides by Lakewood, but it is a Long Beach neighborhood in case you were wondering. Yes, absolutely. So I came over here, came over here to show the driveway. You have a large detached garage, but then a drive through Port de Cacher. I'm saying that probably wrong. And what and is it, Port de Cacher? Uh-huh. What is it? Oh, well, is it's the, yeah, that, that's the part that goes over the driveway there. Ah, okay. Um, I, I, I guess if it wasn't as fancy, you might call it a carport, but it, <laughs> it also, it connects the garage and the house. So it's the covered yeah. area there. And there is an automated gate here across the driveway. So you can just pull up and pull straight in. Mm -hmm. And then the it's access to the garage is on the, the rear. So that's like an added kind of security feature. And there's a ton of parking yeah, as we'll a result. Just, We'll just walk through and do that right now because you drive through and it's interesting that you have a large parking driveway area here. Oh, wow. Yeah. And then you circle around to a full size two car garage. So, so this is amazing. Yeah, for people who have multiple vehicles or RV or boat or all of the above. Yeah. And there's plenty of street parking generally too. So you really are not going to have any yeah. shortage. Of Before parking. you go back, Brad, just do a quick sneak peek of the backyard since you're back there. We'll get back here okay. and explore it more, but just do a quick sneak peek there. You can see you're not even seeing there's additional patio area, but check the pool. You've got a huge, um, you know, grassy area there, mature landscaping. Um, this is just a lot that kind of goes on forever. But as long as you're back there before we go through the house, because okay. there's a lot to explore. Um, yeah, sneak peek. Here's a door into the utility room and kitchen back door, which we'll yeah. see from the other side in a minute. Yeah, and then there's multiple ways to access the backyard. So we'll get to that. <laughs> a lot to see here. Okay, so now we're gonna come back around and come in the house to the front door like we should. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, we definitely wanna enter through the front because um, just got a nice presence on the street. Beautiful, beautiful the landscaping. landscaping. Mm -hmm. Real nice front porch. 
Yeah, traditional, you know, brick um, on the front there and, you know, traditional porch. So when you come in, you can either go straight forward to the family room, you can go left to the living room, um, or you can go right to the dining room and kitchen. Which way are we going, Brad? <laughs> well, I'm going to spin around and then we'll go into the living room first. But as you, I'm standing here in the entry, this is the view into the living room. Mm -hmm. Then straight ahead, the family room or den. There's a stairway that leads upstairs. And then here's that dining room that you just mentioned. Yeah. And then that flows to the kitchen, which has right. two islands. That's my, my favorite dream. part. I know. Well, we'll save that for just a minute. This is right. the living room. And let's start at the top because it's got huge vaulted ceilings, ceiling fan, recessed lights. I love the high ceilings in there. And um, I just want to say, if you're watching this, we also have a professional video that's available on our website, um, showmehome.com, as well as on YouTube. You can also see it on our Instagram channel for the Shannon Jones team. Um, and that will maybe give you um, even a better sense of the scale of this room. But there are multiple seating areas. And of course, you can see You've got doors that lead out to a seating area and then to your beautiful pool. Um, but this is a huge living room. And I want to point out there's two seating areas and still a separate office space with plenty of room to spare yeah. still. So, oh, yeah, yeah. it's just Great gigantic. Yeah. yeah. Nice there. And then over here, she has a home office set up over here if you don't need that you could tuck that away in one of the back rooms and use this for more seating space if you felt the need a third seating area a third seating area <laughs> yeah it's nice, just huge nice fireplace with a brick surround and and it goes up traditional mantle okay so since we're on this side of the house, as you're facing the house, on the left-hand side, this is that's this room, or the north side. And then you come over here, and here's a hallway with some built-in storage. One of the things I love about this home is how much storage it has. Absolutely. Um, everywhere you turn around, there's additional storage. It's really lovely and i love the plantation shutters are really nice um i also want to point out you can't see this but um just so you're aware there are um dual pane windows um throughout as well so this is the front bedroom and original closets still unpainted which are really nice they're in great shape so they really are not. Storage, storage above, storage cabinets and drawers behind the chair here, and then a regular size closet there. Mm -hmm. And as you come out here, there, that's a freestanding armoire, but you have the built-in linen storage here. On either side. Wow, that's nice. On either side of the bathroom. Here it's a pool bath with tile floors, separate stall shower. Nice. Very nice. And come around here. And it's it's large enough that you have room for a vanity there as well, which it's is a large, large vanity too. So you yeah, it is. It's a really good sized bathroom. Okay, so that's the that's the hall bath between the two bedrooms. And, and I did notice here. that a few new people have joined us. So I just want to say thank you for joining and watching. And in case you missed it, we are at 4418 Pepperwood Avenue in Lakewood Village. Which is Long Beach. Yes. 
And here we're in the larger of the two bedrooms um, downstairs. And again, very spacious, a nice big ceiling fan and sliders to the backyard. Oh, that is the best view. I would love to wake up. You just look to your side and you have that pool out there. Yeah, well, I know. Well, you can just we'll see the little, inviting we'll blue. Seat, yeah. 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 I know. I think it's great to be able to just look out and see that and picture just mm -hmm. running yeah. out there and jumping in that yeah. beautiful water. <laughs> Teasing you with multiple views of the pool here before we go outside. <laughs> but you know, but I is. think one of the things about this home that really makes it special is that from pretty much every window, you have a view of either the pool or beautiful landscaping and trees and flowers and green. Um, and it just really gives it um, a really lovely um, atmosphere. Right. Yeah. And and here's another closet similar to the one in the front, only larger. There's two full-size hanging mm -hmm. closets with a storage cabinet with drawers in the middle. And then once again, storage above. Again, all unpainted still. So many times you see these kind of things and they've been painted over the years. And uh, it's really good when they're in their natural, their original yeah. state. The wood is beautiful. Okay. Let's go to the dining room and the kitchen. The kitchen is, I mean, the whole house is great, but the kitchen in this house is really, I would say, uh, kind of the heart of the home. Um, it is so lovely. And the dining room, it, I mean, look at the size of the dining room because you've got a full size table six chairs and then you still have room for additional furniture and plenty of room to walk by mm -hmm. so this yeah, isn't one of those be... places where you'll wonder where can you put the furniture there's plenty of room uh, for it i'm already thinking thanksgiving or christmas you could even have a smaller table off to the side and have two big tables and have plenty of room totally. this, this is an expandable table you still have a little oh, bit of room nice. to expand before you get to more table space. <laughs> so for casual dining or whatever, this is uh, a raised bar height island. And I'm going to pan into the kitchen. Large so you have a full size island with a prep sink. And I love the microwave. granite. The granite is a really so pretty. Nice. Kind of tone color. There's just a little bit of a refrigerator. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just a tiny refrigerator, huh? <laughs> it's, it's a gorgeous. full commercial size, double size, wow. uh, stainless refrigerator. Really nice. And again, the ceilings are really nice. They have the wood ceilings. With mm -hmm. recessed lights and so forth. And your sink is in the corner. So again, nice. looking out, looking out, you're looking out at your yard. Yeah. And like I said, it's just everywhere you look, the views um, from this home are so pleasant and peaceful. And here's the other angle, if you will. So there's this additional is storage on the in the island here there's oh, a lot of storage. drawers and cabinets in both of the islands there's storage this is absolutely the ideal home for entertaining yes okay so this is our kitchen and but wait there's more have, <laughs> well, if, you, if you do a lot of cooking you're gonna need yes the pantry with automatic lights and all this storage Oh my goodness. Yeah. It is like yeah. the dream pantry. Yes. I love it. We'll go back. And look at the floors too. The floors are so nice. Really, really pretty oak floors. And these, and these oak floors extend all through the dining area and the kitchen. Mm -hmm. They're really beautiful. Okay. 
just a quick peek here. There is a laundry room, and this was that door that led from, from the outdoor for the garage was. So you come in here and full size laundry room with room for storage, and there's additional storage behind the door there. But and wait, there's, there's more storage. <laughs> yeah, there is closet storage. Uh, pardon me for spinning so quick. Uh, there's a couple of storage closets here as well, coat closets. Coat closet and a broom closet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then a casual, comfortable family room den. Again, another fireplace. Same oak floors. More built-in storage. More well, open. there's built-in storage at both ends of this room. Yeah. Yeah. I'll spin around here in a second. So you have little built-in bookcases on either side of the fireplace. I you really love those. Another slider to the backyard and another pool view. Pool. <laughs> mm -hmm. and another then, great view. But over here, again, more cabinet storage and bookcase. And room for another, there's room there too. I think if you show um, for like another desk. So oh, if, they have a if, small one here, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So if you have um, multiple people who are working at home, schooling at home, um, there's so much room in this house to spread out and, um, you know, really just um, not, be in each other's way. <laughs> Give everybody their own schooling and work spot. Absolutely. Down here, down here, let me switch on the light. Here's a half bath powder room with a pedestal sink. Tile floors there. Tile floors. Mm -hmm. This is great to have um, right in the middle of the house, actually. Uh, right. Very convenient if you're entertaining, whatever. And then over mm -hmm. here we have stairway. And right now there is a chair lift installed on the stairway that could easily come out if you don't happen to need the assistance to get upstairs. But there is the chair lift. And we're going to go up. The chair lift does not extend around the corner though. So there's four more steps. And then you have your upstairs bedroom, which is really good size. There's a ceiling fan. It's really private too, I think, because you yeah. don't have any um, shared walls. And so you've got the windows that um, either side, it almost ends up feeling like a tree house or something up there, you know? Yeah, it does feel really special. This is a really special spot. Mm -hmm. And then two, two large closets again with the, yeah. the storage above that was pretty common when they were building these homes. And then I'm going to turn on a light in the bathroom here. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Here we go. So you have a bathroom. So this has a real vintage kind of feel yeah. to it, which is nice. And then the, the original pub. With wow. A, with a shower door, shower enclosure, and a yeah. tile surround in there, but it's all in really good condition. It looks yeah. great. And I don't know if this works, but there is a little wall here. There. So an ensuite bath in the upstairs bath bedroom. And again, we'll spin around here as we go back down. Even more storage. And I think this might be a little access to an attic space. Oh, mm -hmm. wow. When you go down the steps too, Brad, I believe there's also um, an attic access panel there. But go to spin back around before you go down. 
Um, because I do want to show, I want to point out that there is the built-in kind of vanity mm -hmm. or desk area there too. Um, so you've got closets at that end, you've got closets along one wall, and then you've got the built-in vanity. So there's actually a ton of storage in this um, upstairs bedroom. And if you're sitting there, you've got a little well, peek a of a view of the pool. <laughs> Yep, you could look out at the pool. Again, just the views everywhere are um, really magical. We promised to show you the pool in a couple of yeah. minutes. Yeah, but we're giving peaks of it along the way. And then as you go down that. there, that does have um, the attic access. And I peeked in there before, and you can actually see like the heater from there. And so that lets you get into kind of the working, um, you know, attic area. Okay, so we're gonna go back down here. It's a perfect hide and go seek spot. Mm, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. This house would be a crazy house for a hide and seek, huh? Right? That's what I'm thinking. You can yeah. find a ton of hiding places, yeah. especially if you let people hide outside, too, right? You never find them. Then. We're going we're gonna to look at the patio space. So we've got, I'm standing in the family room or den. Those are the sliding doors from the main living room. Here's the outdoor seating outside here. And again, multiple room for multiple chairs, big chairs. There is out here. And then you've got um, space the there for the raised, raised garden too. Uh-huh. Yeah. Here's the raised beds. Got some herbs going. Get so you can herbs. just use those to whip up something fabulous in your kitchen. Oh, how this magical is the, does that look? A little pergola right. over the sliding door from the bedroom downstairs. The bedroom. master bedroom. Uh -huh. Oh, gorgeous. And then again, hey, there's an empty raised bed to plant whatever you would like. Mm -hmm. And then a little storage area over here with a planter bench, whatever, and a, and a storage shed. Right, so you've got the you potting go. bench and then the um, whole garden shed. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then as promised, there is There's a, a pool. Place. What? There's a pool? <laughs> <laughs> Who knew? Is that a little fireplace? There's it's a little a, fire yeah, pit. it's a fire pit. Oh, so nice. Yeah. That fire pit. And it is a full-size pool. Um, the trend now is to go, you know, with smaller pools, but this is not, this is a really large, um, full size pool. It's, it looks like it's in great shape and, it's um, completely gated for safety, right? It's absolutely. Gated all around, but it's, yeah. it's gated, but there's a lot of room behind the fence. So there's another yeah. gate over here so you can get to the grassy area. So if kids are running around in the grass mm -hmm. and they, they come in through the gate, they could jump into the pool. Again, full size pool. And it looks like it's regular depth, like an eight foot deep pool. And you can see over here, looking back toward the house. And I like too that it's got steps on um, two of the corners there, which is nice. Oh um, yeah. Nice, easy access. I like the two steps like that because one is I mean, people can use to climb in and out. And the other one makes an ideal spot to sit and read if you have like a, a waterproof Kindle or something like that. <laughs> then, so over here, there's pool equipment. Mm -hmm. And there's actually room back here for a table. Nice. Yeah. And room if you wanted to have some lounge chairs at that yeah. end. Certainly plenty That's of room for lounge chairs and an umbrella or whatever. Um, and really quite a lot of room around the pool. Um, yeah. Inside, inside the gate as well as outside the gate. Mm -hmm. Another little ledge there. Yeah, for a little sitting. Ledge for yep. Looks like there was a diving board here in the past. But, so it is an eight foot deep pool. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, all that room, I'm thinking a slide over on the left by the uh, grass, that would be fun. 
Disclaimer from the Shannon Jones team, check with your insurance agent. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course. For sure. So then here we are outside the gate from the house to the pool again. And then we'll walk this way. I love the landscaping. Just get a close up too, Brad. Um, if you can turn to your right, turn to your right, the other right. Yeah. <laughs> the other right. Um, yeah, that one. Those are uh, camellias and um, they are so beautiful. Aren't those gorgeous? Oh, this is the per them. perfect time for camellias to be in bloom too. Um, and there's just some really, you know, nice, mature landscaping in this yard. Oh, okay. She is actually going to move like... Yeah, a little bird bath tucked under the... Yeah. Under the, the tree. tree there. The roots are really, really cool looking. And they, mm -hmm. they kind of complement with the landscaping. And then come around here. There's room out here to... I throw a Frisbee around or throw a football around. Um, extra seating area out here in the grassy area. That's what most, this double lot provides is space other than the pool deck mm -hmm. as your backyard. Mm -hmm. And this is a huge space back here. Yeah, well, and you've got room, like let's say, you know, you have kids who wanna ride around on their bike or scooters or, you know, you know, practice skateboard tricks or you wanna, you know, put up a, a basketball hoop. Um, this definitely could be used as a sports court. It could be used as, as I said, you know, extra parking or um, storage for additional vehicles. You've got so many um, different options. Um, lots of options. And you come out here and just so you know, tucked away, there's like a little post here with electrical on it. So if you did want to have a big party and set up a temporary serving area or something, there's some electric out here. Oh, nice. You know? And then your garage, and again, panning. Thank you. It's an amazing backyard for a party. Can you just picture, you know, a little canopy? Yes, I can. Tables and <laughs> chairs. And in, in the post COVID world, this is the backyard for a backyard wedding. Mm -hmm. I guess you could even do it now. There's plenty of room for social distancing. Yeah. <laughs> right. So then you come back out the way we started the tour, which was through the driveway. And then again, here's the entry into the back door of the house. Well, it doesn't look like we have any questions. Um, yeah. You've done a great job with this tour, Brad. Uh, thank you. We'll take and another look outside. Of the just walking around the house. <laughs> We're going to... Take another look at the front of the house and then. So if you are watching this later um, and you do have any questions, we definitely invite you to give us a call with your questions um, or you can send us a message on Facebook or Instagram or uh, contact us on our website. Our website um, is showmehome.com and we do have on there, we'll have a replay of this, but we'll also have our professional video, which is much shorter. Um, and we have a um, professional photos and we have a 3D Matterport tour. And if you have never noticed this before on the 3D Matterport tour, in the lower left-hand corner, there is a measurement tool. And you can actually use that to measure the rooms and you can you know, take your own virtual walkthrough at your own pace. Um, and if you wanna set up a COVID-friendly tour, um, give us a Here's call. How yep. <laughs> There's how you reach us. And uh, we're happy to set up COVID safe tours. Um, or you can contact, if you have a real estate agent, you can contact them and they can uh, get in touch with us to set that up. 
And also, if you're unfamiliar with the area, we have a brand new video touring Lakewood Village. So you can see a little bit of what the neighborhood looks like, some of your shopping and dining options, other homes around. So you can really explore everything about, uh, about Pepperwood. Hey. Wonderful. Thank you so much, um, everyone who's either watching this live or watching the replay. Uh, and thank you, Brad. And thank you, Julia. Thank, thank you, everyone. You. Bye. Bye.